with you. Was that really loud? Or it felt really loud to me. But, but, but it's, good, it's good to have lots of joy, right, on, on this day. Good morning and welcome to worship. So glad you're here for this uh, No Pressure Choir. But we're super excited for you. And isn't it nice that the sun on the... On the the sun has positioned itself perfectly to blind you, but hopefully it's a little bit better since you're not facing right into it. Yeah. No, it's not. Okay. Well, we tried. We did try. But thank you for all of the uh, extra effort that you put in, and, and, and we have musicians besides singers, and it's just exciting, and we're so glad um, that you guys are all here and that all of you are here, too. Um, just a, uh, a few announcements as we get started. You may be aware that Christmas Eve is just a couple of days away. Yeah, yeah. And we do have a Christmas Eve service here at 5 o'clock uh, on Tuesday. Do I need to say that? And we hope that you'll come. Uh, if you're in town and bring friends and family and anybody else, we, uh, the choir will sing again. We do lessons and carols. We have uh, candles, um, real candles, and then also battery-operated little votives for children for whom flames make adults nervous. And uh, it is a beautiful service of, of celebrating the season. So uh, do join us for that. There have been... Um, we're not done with the voting on the Christmas carols yet, right? So on our Facebook page, we've been having uh, carol voting. You can, you can choose... Between, it's hard. It's hard. Who knew? It would be so difficult to choose between, what was it, Silent Night and In the Bleak Midwinter? Were those two matched up? Very hard. But if you, we are, we're, we're kind of trying to figure out the very favorite Christmas carol, or two, top two contenders in the congregation. So you can go to our Facebook page, First Pres MV or First Presbyterian Church Mount Vernon, and, and find those and vote. And then the top vote getter, you'll find out on the Facebook page on, on uh, Christmas Day, but then we will sing the favorite carols N next Sunday. It's hard to believe there's anything after Christmas at this point, isn't there? That there is any life at all after Christmas. But there is. So next Sunday, there will be a, a, a carol sing, led by our very own Julia Andrews. So thank you, Miss Julia. And then the week after that is Epiphany. I'm gone next Sunday, and then Julia's gone the Sunday after that. I, I know, I'll miss you. Okay, January, January, we'll hang out. Um, and it, it, Epiphany is the day. Anybody, raise your hand if you know what Epiphany is. Good job. Okay, so Epiphany is the holiday in the church where we have the arrival of the wise men visiting uh, the baby Jesus and bringing the gifts. And so we'll be talking about gifts that day. We will be, um, I think we'll have star gifts again, star word gifts, if you remember those. We didn't do those last year and I kind of missed it. So we'll bring them back. You'll say a prayer and choose a word and see how that word, God might use that word in your life in the coming year. We're also encouraging gifts for the baby Jesus, but more practical gifts than the symbolic gold, frankincense, and myrrh. We're collecting toilet paper and Kleenex and lotion and lip balm for Southeast Lynn because food stamps can't be used for those things and they can be expensive. We always need toilet paper, but I think toilet, uh, uh, facial tissue especially in these winter months. So we'll collect those. And then for uh, the Washington Elementary School, they could use some girls' underwear and, um, and, and just unisex black leggings of all sizes, or, or black sweatpants for kids when, you know, you rip a hole in your knee or whatever happens. So um, we're collecting those things for Washington Elementary. So practical gifts for baby Jesus. Okay, let's see. Is there anything else that we need to... Yeah, Roger. Adult form does not meet today. Adult form does not meet today, but we'll pick up again on January... Two weeks from today, on January 12th or January 5th? January 5th? 5th, yeah, it's two weeks, from, yeah, I'm sorry, I can't tell time right now. Okay, January 5th, all right. Oh, and also, this is important. We need uh, ushers for Christmas Eve. So if you're gonna be here and are willing to be an usher, would you, would you talk to me after worship? That'd be great. 
Okay, I think, I think we're good. Anything else we need to announce? Okay, then I invite you, and me too, to take a deep breath. Just kind of settle into where you are. Let's move from getting here to being here. And, uh, you know, today's theme is peaceful joy. And um, I don't know, this last, this last Sunday in Advent never feels peaceful to me because it's the, oh my gosh, I haven't done this, and oh, we have to get this done, and oh, uh, not peaceful at all. I was thinking about, um, when I was younger, I would think of peaceful, like the peaceful waters, like they were totally still, like glass, and that that's what peace is. But I think... Now, maybe peace is more like, um, I remember once being uh, at a lake, I think it was Lake Superior, and the, the waves, you know, were, they was very choppy out there, and watching, uh, I think it was a seagull, just sitting on the choppy water, and just very calmly, very peacefully, if you will, going with the waves. That that, that, that that seagull was able to be peaceful and to find peace in the midst of choppy waters. And I think maybe that might be the better aspiration of peacefulness for us and more realistic, right? Because how often do we have totally calm waters? Certainly not right now. So maybe it's about learning to be peaceful and, uh, and trust in the, in the presence of Emmanuel, God with us, in the midst of all of the choppy waters that life brings to us. We are going to um, begin our service with uh, singing the first verse, maybe a little quietly. Let's, we'll be a little, you think, I mean, you're playing it quietly. Let's not be too exuberant in our singing joy to the world yet, because... We're not quite there yet, but uh, yeah. We'll sing it exuberantly at the end of the service. Let us pray. Holy God, we await again the arrival of your Son, the Prince of Peace. We long for the peaceful waters of joy that run deep and wide underneath all of life. When we feel the chaos of life bearing down on us, help us to remember that it doesn't have to be this way. Help us to step into a slower rhythm that is your peaceful joy. Let, Let truth and grace, grace rule our hearts this day. Let truth and grace rule in our church this day. Let truth and grace rule in the world this day. In the name of peace. Amen.
Let us pray. Creator of the world, in this season of Advent, we are here to watch and wait and pray for the coming of light into the world. We long for the day when things of darkness Selfishness and greed, suffering and oppression, consumption and destruction shall be no more. We, we confess, confess, God of mercy, that we too often chase shadows and, and fail to walk in the light. We put our own desires ahead of the needs of others. We go through our days with blinders on, missing the signs of your joy and new creation all around us. Forgive us, O oh God. Amen. The prophet Isaiah declares, the wilderness will rejoice, the dry land will blossom, the people of God will return with joy and singing. Friends, believe the good news. In Jesus Christ, we are forgiven. Amen. The joy and hope of Christ be with you. And also with you. Good morning, peace to you. So children, I invite you to join me here. We're not even going to sit on the steps yet. Uh, can we gather here? And um, I asked a, a few adults to help me out too. I'm going to send you on a mission. I need your help. I need your help. Have you been doing preparations at home? Yeah, what, what kind of things have you been doing at home to prepare for the holidays? Has anybody uh, helped decorate a tree? Has anybody helped bake something? No, nope, nobody baked? <coughs> or, uh, you did good, good. Um, I don't know, what else, what else do you do to prepare? Clean? Yeah. <laughs> That's why you leave town. That's, that's the key. You leave town for the holidays. The Walsh family has got it figured out. Um, so one of the things, we, we, we've done some things around church, haven't we? Well, we need more poinsettias in here. So there are poinsettias in the community room. So would you guys be willing to go and get them and bring them in? And we're gonna, we're gonna put we're going to put some poinsettias up here and in front of the and in front of the church, uh, in front of the table. So, are you willing to go? I'm going to go. I'll stay. I'll stay here and entertain the older children of God for a moment. This is what happens when the pastor takes a, a true day off and uh, on a Saturday, which doesn't usually happen. But I didn't have to preach, so. Uh, and we celebrated my birthday yesterday because there was no time on, on, on my actual birthday on Thursday. And I get to church this morning and think, oh, right, there's discovery time. <laughs> I forgot about that. So this is truly the church of lowered expectations. But have you ever, <laughs> sorry, I'm making the choir do all the heavy lifting today. Have you ever heard the, the legend of the poinsettia? That, that uh, there are many legends, but there was a, <laughs> So it's, it's always a variation of, or not always, but frequently a variation of the story of bringing gifts to Jesus and a, a peasant girl wanting to go with her, with her father. I think he was a shepherd. And they had nothing. They were so poor they had nothing. And so she gathered some weeds that she thought were pretty. And I think it was an angel that changed them into the poinsettia. So, yeah. And they certainly fit with our... With our our plan don't, with our heaven and nature thing. All right, let's bring them up here, boys. I know you want to do interior decorating. 
<laughs> right? Here we go. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that one there. If our arrangement offends you in any way during the service this morning, I encourage you to rearrange them after worship if you would so like. Thank you. Okay. Let's see, so we need, uh, we need a pink one. Oh, thank you. And the other ones, we need a pink one and a white one. And we can, oh, there we go, thank you. And the other ones can go in front of this table. Except I'll, ta I'll, I'll, I'll take that one. Thank you, can I have that? Oh, thank you, oh, our bird fell. Thank you. All right. Oh no, decorations, I've undecorated the sanctuary by accident. Thank you. Let's put them down in front of the table. Maybe on corners, on the stairs. Thank you. It takes all of us, doesn't it? Yeah, let's put it down here. I'm gonna put that one down there too. Put, oh yeah, our animals are taking up spaces on the, the perches, aren't they? Do, how about one in each window? How about one in each big window? You wanna do that? Or it's all good. You can put it on the, you can shove that, that lion will not bite you that's on the corner right there. You wanna put them there? Thank you guys. Very much. Are you, so are you excited? Thank you for your help. I really do appreciate it. Are you guys excited for, uh, for Christmas? Are you a little? It is in three days. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Christmas is in three days. And I, I bet you're excited about, did anybody, did anybody make a present for family at school? Did anybody do that? That you're kind of excited about giving to? I just think that's so wonderful. It's a beautiful thing to give presents and to get them, isn't it? I wish you all safe travels wherever you're going. If I don't see you before the day, I'll see you. I'll probably see you. I probably will. But I don't know if I'll see Franklin's family. And um, I wish you much joy on Christmas Day, not just in the presents, but in, in the presence of all of our of, of, of loved ones and, um, and in Jesus coming into the world. So should we say our, our pretzel prayer? Thank you for the world so sweet. Thank you for the world so sweet. Thank you for the friends we meet. Thank you for the friends we meet. Thank you for the birds that sing. Thank you for the birds that sing. Thank you, God, for everything. Thank you, God, for everything. Amen. All right. So you guys can go back to your seats and uh, get ready to enjoy some beautiful music.
reading from the Gospel according to Matthew, the first chapter. Now, the birth of Jesus the Messiah took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Look, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. Yeah. 
The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onwards and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this.
It is wrong when the child is sleeping. It is wrong when the so loud silence all as you gather around lest your noise should waken Jesus hush hush see how fast he slumbers hush hush see how fast he sleeps
Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For darkness shall cover the earth, and thick darkness the peoples. But the Lord will arise upon you, and his glory will appear over you. Nations shall come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawn. Lift up your eyes and look around. They all gather together. They come to you. Your sons shall come from far away, and your daughters shall be carried on their nurses' arms. Then you shall see and be radiant. Your heart shall thrill and rejoice, because the abundance of the sea shall be brought to you. The wealth of the nation shall come to you. A multitude of camels shall cover you. The young camels of Midian and Ephah, all those from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and frankincense and shall proclaim the praise of the Lord. into that. So thank you so much for your efforts on our behalf and all the joy that you've brought us this morning. Friends, everything we have is a gift from God. 
and our offerings are a way of acknowledging God as the giver. They are no less an act of worship than our presence, our prayers, and our praise. Let us make our offering to God as a sign of our thanks and our commitment to Jesus, the light of the world. together. God, fulfiller of promises, we come to this season of Advent with expectant and thankful hearts. We welcome the renewed promise of your love, justice, and righteousness breaking into our world. We offer these gifts and the service of our lives with joy for all you have done are doing and will do. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.
since I didn't get to preach today, I want a little time extra in the benediction because it's just the way we preachers roll. I was thinking of this poem by Madeline Lingle called First Coming, and I just wanted to share it with you. He did not wait till the world was ready, till men and nations were at peace. He came when the heavens were unsteady and prisoners cried out for release. He did not wait for the perfect time. He came when the need was deep and great. He dined with sinners in all their grime, turned water into wine. He did not wait till hearts were pure. In joy he came to a tarnished world of sin and doubt, to a world like ours of anguish, shame. He came and his light would not go out. He came to a world which did not mesh to heal its tangles, shield its scorn. In the mystery of the word made flesh, the maker of the stars was born. We cannot wait till the world is sane to raise our songs with joyful voice, for to share our grief, to touch our pain, he came with love. Rejoice, rejoice. Friends, go out into the world in peaceful joy this day, knowing that God is here with us, even now, even in this mess that we're in right now. And trust that the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the power of the Holy Spirit are at work in us and in the people around us and the world out there ahead of us this day and all the days to come. Amen. Mm -hmm.